What is up comic creators? Uh, there are two ways that you can adjust color um, in for your footage uh, within CapCut. One way is when you select your video clip um, in the top right hand side, you will see a menu option uh, called adjustment. And if you click that button, that will adjust the color for that specific media clip. But the way that I'm gonna show you uh, today how to do this is going to allow you to um, adjust color for not just your one media clip, but all the clips in your project. Uh, that way, all the clips in your project have that same uh, style uh, that you're going for. And you can just um, stretch out uh, this layer. We're gonna show you how to add um, across all the other clips. Uh, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do to do this method is you're, wanna, you're going to want to go to the top left-hand side uh, of your uh, project file screen and click on the icon that says adjustment on that side and then you're going to click on uh, this black box here that says custom adjustment now when you hover your mouse over it you will see that a blue uh, plus button right there when you click that the adjustment bar will pop up wherever your cursor is in your timeline wherever your movie cursor is um, and so from there we can once you click on it in the top right hand side you will see all of the coloring adjustments that you can make in this menu uh, and this is what we're going to use to edit the color of our video clip and then also make sure that that color is edit is unison across the board with every uh, media clip within our project so where it says LUT here um, that is kind of like a uh, preset or a template filter that you can add to your project to adjust color um, we are not going to use that today so I'll go ahead and uncheck LUT there, there's none that are actually built into CapCut you have to download those online and you have to download ones that are compatible with CapCut the other uh, thing is the top uh, menu bar here that says HSL when you click that that actually allows you to select specific colors within the project and you can adjust those colors you can make them brighter uh, you can make them dimmer uh, it's really cool here so we're gonna mess with the green and as you see as I do that and I pull the hue down down, uh, it actually uh, pulls the green out of the project and almost makes these uh, woods actually look like a fall uh, a type of uh, a wood scheme. It actually completely alters uh, the look of the project. It's really cool. Or you can adjust the saturation, take the green out, and so you have this awesome look of the color uh, from the floor and the trees, but the, the leaves are missing. And so you can do some really cool stuff within this uh, HSL bar. So don't sleep on that. You want to check that out. But back in the basics tab, uh, you'll see here uh, as you scroll down underneath adjustment, you'll see the temperatures. Uh, so you can pull obviously the top one down to blue and you'll kind of see this uh, overall blue feeling go across the uh, image and kind of give it more of a colder feel or look. Um, and you can do that with the uh, hues and the saturation and you can kind of see as you play around with it, it'll give it that uh, look as well, that fall look and then saturation will actually increase the color or decrease the color. And then you have brightness, which uh, will help if you have a darker image and you wanna make it brighter or a brighter image and you wanna make it darker. You've got contrast, uh, which messes around with the shadows and different things like that. Um, you have highlights, same kind of concept. You can increase the highlights or decrease the, the highlights. Uh, you have shadows, which are the darker areas in your project. You can emphasize those more or de-emphasize those. And then illumination, kind of the same thing. You can adjust it. Um, as you play around with those, you'll kind of learn the differences between the, the few and you'll actually probably have your own opinion as far as which one works best for your project. And then you have sharpen. Uh, just be careful with this tool. Too much of this will really uh, make your uh, image look kind of messed up. But I normally do about a 30 if I know it's going to be put on larger screens. That's just my opinion on that. You've got particles right underneath that, which adds a fuzziness to your video if you want to use it. Um, you've got fade and vignette. Uh, fade, uh, you know, will give it like a faded look. I use a little bit of this on some of my projects. I think it looks really cool. Um, and then Vignette adds that little um, outer, like it hyper focuses that adds the shadows to the corners. Uh, I only do just a light touch of that. Uh, and that's a, a just a quick run through of all the different coloring adjustments you can do um, to your video to kind of enhance the look of it and make it look more cinematic. And I'll tell you this too, um, less is more with this stuff. Like don't go crazy with it. It'll the more craziness you add to it, the more adjustments you make, 
the um, less and less professional it looks, it's always these light touches that you do to the footage that for some reason a lot of people can't explain it, but it just makes your footage pop and stand out. So the last thing you'll do is on this little small adjustment bar here in your timeline, you will grab the edge of that and you can drag that all the way across either your entire uh, clip here or all the way across your entire project, which once again will make all of the adjustments you just made uh, unison across your entire project file so it all looks like it's uh, flowing together and it all looks like uh, it's all professional and everything's got the same color scheme to it. It doesn't look like you just took a bunch of random clips and threw them into the project. There's actually like a flow to it. So you see as I'm doing that here, dragged it all the way across this other shot of the woods and now all of it looks like it's almost the same uh, forest hypothetically it's just a, a thing that you do um, obviously it's two different shots and two different trees but you know it still gives it that same feel and guys that is a, a brief overview of how to do color editing and color adjusting within CapCut uh, if you have any questions or you're stuck anywhere or you have any comments uh, feel free to comment below that really helps the channel but yeah I hope this really helped you out Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please take the time to like, comment and subscribe as it helps us to further please our YouTube overlords. Check out more links in the description for continued assistance on your CapCut projects. And please keep your arms and legs inside the craft until it comes to a complete stop. Be sure to mind your headspace and watch your step as you exit. Failure to comply may result in serious injury or death. We will see you next time, Comet Creators. End transmission.